Alright guys, quick video today to show you a tip on the VZ Hextruder and your setup there. Uh, I've seen a couple questions about this. How do you know if you have enough tension or if you're not running too much tension? How, how do you say, how do you tell? So I've seen a couple guys ruining their bearings on the extruder because they were running way too much tension. And the thing is, with those little twirl gears here, they grip a ton without having to tension this guy a lot. They have tons of grip, so there's no need to tension this guy um, more than you need. In fact, you want to run it at the lowest amount of tension that will give you enough grip to do the job. You don't need more, and of course, you don't need less because otherwise you're going to skip on the filament. So where is that zone? How do you know if you have enough? Here is how I do it. So you have your PTFE tube coming in the back like that, and what you do, just load, well, of course, heat up your um, hot end to the desired temperature based on your filament you're going to be testing now. Insert your filament in the hot end, load it. I just do this manually. It works super good. Um, now it's loaded, and you see I didn't have to touch anything on the lever. I just let it there, pretension, and fill in, and then push, and then I'm going to make sure, okay, it's extruding at the bottom and I might be a little too hot, yeah, 250 and that is ABS, but whatever, yeah. So the next thing, what you wanna do, you wanna hold, remove that PTFE tube, hold that filament firmly with your, with your fingers and then try to force and try to block the extruder from extruding when you manually turn that gear. If you're not able to stop it with your fingers, it means it grips enough so see now I was able to stop it I'm gonna give it a bit more and try that again and now uh, there's absolutely no way my fingers can block it from entering and be feed be fed sorry into the hot end so I have enough grip just to give you an idea look at how I can I'm far away from the maximum tension that I can this is maximum and I was I don't know how many turns away from that. I don't know, but this is how I know I have enough tension. I hold that filament and then I try to stop it. I adjust it until it slips, then I give it a bit more. Okay, now it slips, I just give it a tiny bit more and now, no, I can't stop it. So this is enough tension. The other issue you're going to end up running with if you have way too much tension is when you unload the filament. So let me show you as an example. I'm going to unload this, but I'm going to simulate a filament tip shaping macro that you can do. So what it's going to do, um, when, you're going to fill, when you're going to remove that filament, it's going to be molten and there's going to have to be at the tip of the filament is going to have a bulge of, of filament and that thing is bigger than 1.75 obviously because in the hot end the tube there is about 1.9 to 2 millimeters so when you're going to try to put it back up it's not going to fit into that 2 millimeter feed tube here and it's aluminum it's not going to expand it's not plastic so you're going to have hard time to pull that filament up so what you do you just uh, simulate that. I'm gonna feed it. I'm gonna do that a couple times, and then it's just gonna come out perfectly. And as you can see here, the filament is just shaped in a way that it was. There's no bulge. There's no nothing, and it's gonna be able to to be straight out there. If you have too much tension, what's gonna happen when you unload it? It's gonna this this part will still be kind of soft. And it's going to be able to be squished and squeezed between that those two gears and it's going to be deformed and it's going to expand in one direction because it's being you know flattened out and what that's going to cause is going to be um, bigger than two millimeter in terms of diameter in one direction and then it's not going to fit in the hole so you're going to be screwed you're going to think well that's a shitty thing it's always clogged but it's not clogged it's just that the filament doesn't fit in that hole anymore so that's what you do. You have either way too much tension or you don't um, shape your filament tip properly with, um, what you have to do is like, the filament needs to go, uh, what am I doing here? What the heck? <laughs> Sorry guys. So yeah, you have to kind of uh, um, extrude, retract, extrude, retract. You do this one or two times, then you quickly um, retract it. And then that's gonna be about like that. And you're never gonna 
clog it or not clog it. You're never gonna uh, jam it again if you follow these little tips. I hope this is gonna help you to enjoy that little beast because it's a good extruder, but I've seen a lot of guys struggle with those little things. So yeah, I hope that is gonna help you all. Have a great day, goodbye.